Good morning. Welcome to lesson three of the course Developing Web Application with Angular Frontend and ESP.NET Core Backend using Ransom. I am Benjamin Fadino. In this third lesson, we are going to learn how to create file upload control for uploading account holders' photo to the database. First of all, I'm going to ensure that my SQL Server service is running. So I'm going to look for the SQL Server instance name called Bifadina. So it is running, so I'm good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start transit. Right-click on Razi, then I'll select Run as Administrator. The user account control, I'll click Yes. And I'm going to open the, the Angular application we are currently working on. The name of the application is Bank of Angular, so I'll, I'll click on it now. I'll close this uh, uh, dialog. Now, uh, the views that I want to work on, there are two. I want to work on add account and edit account. So I'll click on add accounts. I'll double click on it, it appears. And then after it has appeared in my screen, then I'll go to uh, selection. I will open uh, from zero. Uh, after that, after, sorry, I selected from zero here. Selected from zero. After selecting from zero, then I'll click on the ellipsis for fields. Uh, now look for the uh, field I want to change. The field I want to change is photo. So I selected it. Uh, yes, the type is string. Okay, so I will now change the type from, from string. I'll change it to file. Uh, and you can see now that it is accepting images through star now. Then I'll click close or uh, choose text. Let me change the choose text to this upload account holders photo. I click OK. OK. So then I save. Um, then I will also go to Edit Account. After selecting Edit Account, I'll go to Selection. And I'll go to from zero again. I'll click on the ellipsis for fields. Select photo here again. Then I'll change the time of string to file. Okay. Text again. I'm going to change to this upload count holders. And I'll click OK. Now, after doing these two changes, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on Run. So you see, saying Ratsy generating code. So you can see. As you can see, it's saying code generation done in two to nine two milliseconds. So I wait for it to finish. So uh, the application has been deployed to Kestrel server. But I'm going to deploy it to IIS now. So I'm going to click stop. 
Uh, before I deploy to eyes, I'm going to review. Okay, yes, let me go ahead and deploy to eyes. So I click on deploy. Uh, so I choose eyes, I'm deploying to localhost. Now, uh, okay, every other team is defined, but I want to maintain a, a different versions for my app. So I'm going to deploy this time around as bank app v2 that is the second version of uh, the application we are currently generating then i'll now click on deploy okay so deployment is now in the as you can as you can see, it is at the stage where uh, Angular is saying, uh, sorry, where Radzin is saying that it is building the Angular application in production. So still wait while uh, Radzin does its stuff. So finally, the deployment to IIS is, is completed. Uh, I am um, is is now serving the application. Uh, let's review some of this stuff. Uh, we already we already have two account types. We don't have any account created yet. So let's go ahead and create an account. So I click on accounts. I click on hard chicken. So this time around, I'm going to create account number one, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, a new uh, my account type. Uh, okay, let's say current uh, bank verification number one six seven eight nine B. Now the date of birth for this fellow. Uh, let's. Make it a uh, nineteen eighty four June twenty eight. I start to upload uh, the, the fellow's uh, account, the account with us photo. So I click here. Uh, let me use uh, this photo. So uh, let's see, uh, click here. Um, in the next lesson, we are going to work on displaying thumbnails for the photograph. As you can see, the photo is successfully uploaded. And then uh, we can also decide to change uh, the account holder's photo just by double clicking here. Uh, you can see the item appears here. And, okay, maybe I don't want this photo now. So what do I do? I change this upload account holder's photo. Uh, let me use my face so I can select my face. So I click open, uh, click save. So if I select again, you can see uh, it's my pho photograph that has been displayed there. So let's click also. So we have come to the end of the lesson today. Uh, next lesson, we are going to see how we are going to customize the data grid so that uh, the thumbnails for the account holders' photos will be, will be displayed. Thank you very much for watching.